Moving into stage two now, the practice of pratyahara and dharana. Internal absorption and concentration. In stage two of Kripala Yoga, each asana is held, allowing us to deeply feel the presence of the sacred life force of prana. From holding the attention on the details of the pose, the eyes close and the awareness goes inward, naturally focusing on the feelings and sensations in the body. Ustrasan, the camel. From squeezing the buttocks, lengthening through the waist, opening the chest, and then balancing the hands on the feet. Arda Matsyandrasan, the spinal twist. A powerful rotation from the sacrum to the crown of the head opens the chest, opens the back, balances the hemispheres of the brain. And Sarvangasan, the shoulder stand. This inverted posture allows the internal ar organs to hang suspended in the body. The flow of blood is reversed, allowing the venous blood to move back into the heart. And now the eyes close and the attention goes inward, feeling the moving experience of prana. Deep concentration is developed as the attention is riveted to the strong sensations originating within the asana, affirming and visualizing the benefits strengthens the effect of each posture. The unfolding body becomes the object of consciousness, bringing you to full attention of every movement. And slowly releasing. And as the muscles relax, the prana pours through the nadis. The breath flows through the body. The attention sinks deeper. Arda Matsyandrasan on the opposite side. And Halasan, the plow, balancing the camel. And Padmatsyasan, the lotus fish, providing an opposite stretch from the shoulder stand. Again the eyes close and again the attention goes inward, allowing the micro movements to originate from the experience of prana, opening the body in ways that the mind cannot decide, letting the intelligence and the wisdom of the body create the micro adjustments. And then slowly releasing deep inner awareness, <coughs> intense concentration without force, without push. Stage three of Kripala Yoga, Dhyan, meditation. Gurudev was taught by Bapaji the powerful and sacred practice of the slow motion prana exercise. In this practice, we bring the hands in front of the heart and focus our attention on the space of energy between the physical hands, drawing our attention to the deep feelings that arise. It was from this practice, combined with his willful asana and the blessings of Bapaji, that Gurudev one day opened to the experience of the posture flow, meditation in motion. I'll read from Gurudev's description. Suddenly, like an unexpected spring downpour, bliss flooded throughout my entire being. I felt myself being irresistibly drawn to another level of consciousness. As my mind was drawn more and more inward, the external surroundings dissolved far into the background, 
I was no longer performing the exercises. They were being performed through me. A flow of energy coursed throughout my system, and with no conscious effort, my body spontaneously began to twist and turn on its own. The movements were effortless and free, a gift from a newly opened higher dimension of my inner being. I found myself moving in perfect rhythm with the entire universe, while not aware of giving any direction to the movements. Thoughts continue to come, but they pass through my mind in slow motion, disconnected from my body's activity. One after another, these postures flowed, some of them traditional yoga exercises, others movements I had never seen before. Gradually, I became deeper and deeper, absorbed in my experience at one with the universe, completely embraced at the deepest level of my being. At the end of this flow of postures, my body naturally entered the lotus position and a deep stillness penetrated every level of my being. Then a second explosion of ecstasy spread through me and I became engulfed, overwhelmed by a state of complete inner bliss. As we participate in this practice of Kripalu Yoga in our lives, we acknowledge Gurudev and Bapaji as the origin, the inspiration of this practice. And we again and again turn this prana back in service, completing the circle of life, focusing the energy back to Gurudev, reflecting to him his great gift to us. Join us now in raising your palms towards Gurudev, surrounding him with your love and gratitude for who he is and the way that he supports us, nurtures us, and lives through us. We'll make an aisle now for Gurudev who will be leaving and, oh, excuse me. I want to thank Dave Anand who put this together and did the uh, choreography together with the brothers. I just want to acknowledge Dave Anand who is, <laughs> you may not know that he's now the director of the Yoga Teachers uh, Association. And uh, so all of you who aspire to be and all of you who are yoga teachers, uh, Dave Anand is there for you. And to our brothers, will you stand please? Who? in the freezing cold. <laughs> Weren't they great? <laughs> mm. 
And I think to our, did Gerd have gone? Where's Gerd? Did Gerd have gone? Oh, he's up there. Oh, he's waiting for his chair. <laughs> Gerd, we were just going to let people go from here. Let's, um, if you can hang on just a minute, Brahmanand will come over there and make the announcements since you all went back over there. Okay, I'll make the announcement as I go. Uh, first of all, we need eight brothers to volunteer to be in the main chapel at 1.30 for a little 20-minute uh, task. We need your help w at the main chapel to meet Hira. Would you raise your hands, eight brothers who would be willing to help? Hira, take a look around at the names. 1.30 in the main chapel. The rest of us will now be leaving. Uh, we'll convene back here at 2.30 promptly. So come right back in and we'll continue our celebration. Jai Gurdav.